Greetings and welcome to Fresh Fire International Ministries Wisdom Wednesday. I'm Pastor Janice Barreed Hardy and I would like to speak with you for a few moments on the topic of the treasure. The treasure. I'm going to come out of uh, the Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 7 through 12. Okay. I'm reading from the NIV. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and it's not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but we are not in despair. We are persecuted, but we are not abandoned. We're struck down, but we are not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. But we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. So then, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. In this, um, these verses, um, the apostle Paul was responding to other pastors and other leaders who, who were questioning Paul's authority who were wondering what gives Paul, you know, the right with all the trouble that he has in his life. He's been jailed, he's, you know, all kinds of things. What gives him the right to stand up here and say that he is a representative of Almighty God? So Paul is responding to those people who are trying to attack him, to attract his character, to attack the faith that people had in him. These people were saying, you know, Paul is weak. You know, he, he writes so well. He writes so well, but he's not even a good speaker. So, how, you know, how could he, you know, he, he has no swag. He has no charisma. So what gives him the right to get up here? Because we know how to fire it up. We know how to hoop and holler. Paul doesn't know how to do that. So what makes him think that he can get up there and call himself a leader from God? So let's break these words down. What is Paul telling them? Okay, let's start out with this. Paul it is really talking about um, something that begins as a lump of clay, okay? Begins as a lump of clay, and then it's worked on. And this lump of clay, it's taken from rocks, sedimentary rocks, and then it's shaped in, into a real lump on the potter's wheel. And then it's spun around, and then it's pressed, and then it's squeezed, and then parts of it are cut off and thrown away and scraped and contorted, and it goes through all kinds of horrible pressure. This thing that's on the potter's wheel, okay? As the potter watches it and is in allowing all of this pressure, all of these horrible things to be happening to that lump of clay. And then over time, that lump begins to smooth out very carefully. It's a dirty process. It's a messy process. Anybody who stands around and watches it wonders, will it ever be worth anything? Look at it. Okay, but after it's shaped into something that looks like it could be a pot, that's not even the end of the process. After it is shaped into what looks like it could be a pot, then even worse happens. What happens is that that what was a lump of clay that is now shaped into something, it is put into a kiln or into a very hot oven where sometimes really temperatures can reach up to 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. It goes through, as we would say, it goes through. But when it comes out of that fire, the finished product doesn't look anything like that lump of clay that the potter began with, okay? And only the potter knows how much pressure, how much force to put on that thing when he's shaping it. Only the potter knows, okay, how much heat that thing, not how much heat it can take, but how much heat it needs to become that vision that is in the potter's mind for that piece of what was clay, all right? And so Paul is telling them, you know, look at nature, look at the process. God always takes his own through a process. If there is a believer who hasn't been through anything, then that believer, I guarantee you, and Paul is saying, and I'm agreeing with him, that believer needs to go back to the altar and give his life to the Lord again because something is not right. God takes all believers. 
all true believers through some kind of process, whether it's physical, whether it's mental, whether it's in its soul, whether it's in its environment, whether it's in its country, you're going to go through something if you are a believer because the potter is not going to leave us the way that he found us. So Paul is saying to those who are um, really trying to malign his reputation, if you haven't been through something, especially if you're in ministry, and we're all ministers, ministry just means to serve God. If you haven't been through something, then I question, okay? I question, are you really following the Lord? And the verse says, I'm hard pressed, okay? It's hard pressed, okay? We're troubled, you know? It's kind of like, like grapes, okay? Grapes, we don't just swallow grapes. Even in our mouths, if we're going to eat this fruit called grape, we've got to press it, we've got to mash it out to get out what is in, what is in, in that fruit. And Paul says, you know, I may look forsaken and I may look perplexed, okay? It may look like things are just overtaking me. Yes, yes, you know, the Roman authorities have arrested me. Yes, I've been beaten. I've, I've been, you know, beaten with stripes. I've been shipwrecked. I've gone through all of that. People have left me. Yes, all that has happened. But as the Bible says, I am not in despair, Okay. Yes, yes, I've been persecuted. I've been attacked by people, Paul is telling them. Yes, I've been attacked by even some of my closest friends, Paul says. I have been persecuted in my beliefs. Okay, the way I live, I have been, I have just been persecuted, but I am not abandoned. Paul is talking heavily to his detractors. Okay. And you know, he says, I've been struck down, I've been cast down, but I am not destroyed. I have been through it and continue to go through it, Paul is telling them, for that is the process of God to bring this treasure out in me. And if God is bringing that pressure out of you, he's telling his opponents, then you too will be going through something, okay? Because that is the process of everything in nature that God created. It's going through a process, all right? And throughout the Bible, people have gone throughout a process, okay, when they've come to the Lord. David, okay, good. <laughs> Once he got out of out of the field being the shepherd, he probably thought, woohoo, I've been ordained to, you know, a a future king of Israel. Life is gonna be wonderful. But that's when his troubles really began. Okay, and for some of us, we didn't have any trouble until we gave our life to the Lord. And then it was like, whoa, I didn't know this was coming. But okay, pressed, crushed perplexed, but not destroyed, okay? So this is what Paul is telling his detractors, okay? God is bringing out a treasure in me, the woman at the well, okay? We can talk about Peter. We can talk about David. We can talk about the woman at the well. We can even talk about, talk about Mary Magdalene. And those women, their reputations, people talked about them like a dog. I know where she came from. She can sit up here in church or she want to looking holy, but I know, I know, I know. I know what she used to do, okay? People can talk about you like a dog, okay? And let me tell you something, nobody can talk about you like Christians. And you know, that's okay, because you know, that's who we interact with a lot. It's okay, and it is, I'm telling you, it's part of the process. Paul is saying, yes, people have talked about me. People who even work for me, he's saying, have talked about me, but that is part of the process. So we don't listen to the talk. We don't listen to the accusations. We, we don't listen to all of that garbage. We listen to Almighty God, and through it all, through it all, through it all, Paul learned to listen to God. So Paul is responding to his detractors. He's saying it is the process of God that God has to take us through something just like a lump of clay to shape us, to, you know, process us. And sometimes, let me tell you something, uh, you know, as with Paul, it is to be expected. God takes us from glory to glory to glory. But part, part of that, that trip, if you want to call it that, is that circumstances are going to change. There's some circumstances that we might like that we got to let go of. There's certain people that we, you know, we really might like, but we have to let go of. And it's not that anything is bad with, you know, about them, but it's just that they were there for a season to help us with that part of the crushing, that part of the perplexed. And now God is moving you on elsewhere. There's nothing wrong with them most of the 
the time. But God is saying, I've got to move you elsewhere. This wasn't meant to be a permanent home for you, okay? This wasn't meant to be a permanent relationship for you. This was meant for you to grow, to be pressed, to be squeezed, to be, you know, to grow in that process for a season. And that is what Paul is telling his detractors. And, you know, I don't want to extend this video too long. I really believe it. The purpose of our Wisdom Wednesdays is to be a short burst of inspiration. But sometimes, like me, we, we can get caught up once we start talking about the Word of God and talking about how good God is and what God's process is. So I just stop by to give you some words of encouragement when it looks like you are being pressed, crushed, per perplexed, struck down. You're not abandoned, okay? You're not destroyed. Just like Paul is telling his detractors, sometimes we have to tell ourselves, yes, it looks like I'm going down for the count. But all that's happening is that God is lifting me up. This is the process of God taking me to glory to glory, taking me to a place where he can bring out more and more and more of his treasure in me. And that treasure is for God's glory, not mine, not my ego, but for God's glory. So Paul, you know, like Paul, Paul says, you know, talk all you want, talk all you want, okay? But this is what the process of God is. Okay, so thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining us today. And we hope you will join us again next next Wednesday, next Wisdom Wednesday. And remember, if you need to reach us for anything, prayer, you know, comment, whatever, the best way is through our website, and that's www.ffiministries.com. That's www.ffiministries.com. God bless you. Go through the process knowing that God is just bringing out more treasure in you.